Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we have Philips Hue light bars here. Now you may be wondering, what? Philips Hue light bars? Uh, this is kind of like a relatively new product, I guess, from Philips Hue. Probably one of their newest products, in fact, if not the newest Philips Hue product. This is the like Philips Hue Play light bar. I have the base unit right here, and then the extension right here, which I'm pretty sure is going to plug into the base unit and it's just gonna be sick. So what I plan on using these guys for is I'm gonna put them behind the ultrawide monitor, probably like one on each side of the ultrawide monitor, and then pick up a Philips Hue LED strip, uh, like their smart LED strip or whatever, and then put that one behind the ultrawide monitor as well, but in the center, and have these guys uh, on like both sides of the monitor pointing at the wall. And hopefully both of these will work with Razer Chroma, else if they don't, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed, but they are literally called the play light bars they're pretty much designed for like entertainment setups either for your living room or like your gaming setup in my case you know i have a gaming setup here and both of these guys are hopefully gonna make you know some pretty cool lighting effects and i'm pretty sure you, you can only set one color per the light bar but that is all right as i have like a lot of philips hue in my room now i'm gonna go over like all the philips hue stuff i have today but i do plan on buying even more philips hue uh, in the very near future as you can probably see behind me there is an led bed Unfortunately, that isn't yet compatible with Philips Hue. Uh, that's just like a regular smart LED strip that isn't Philips Hue. So I have to replace that one and make sure that one is Philips Hue. And then once I replace that LED strip, that'll pretty much be it, I think. So I just need to buy like one LED strip for the monitor and one for the bed and everything. Every LED light, every LED strip will pretty much be Philips Hue in my room, which is going to be pretty good as I can do all sorts of crazy stuff with Philips Hue then as there's just going to be so much of it all in one room but with all that said this is after all an unboxing video so let's actually unbox these guys set them up hopefully put them behind the monitor see if it works with razor chroma see if it works with apple home kit you know amazon echo these are all the questions that i want answered today so i wonder if i need any actual like tape to unbox this so this is the extension unit that i'm unboxing now um i feel like i'm doing this wrong okay i clearly am do you unbox it through you unbox it like this okay Cut the tape here using your fancy knife. Open it up. Right, do more of your Philips Hue lights and enhance your entertainment experience with light. All right, so set up your hardware. You will need a Hue Play light strip. We got that. We got a Hue Bridge. Uh, yeah, we have a Hue Bridge, a router. Yeah, set up Hue Play light bars, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yeah, that sounds good. Then we have the exact same thing here, but in a leaflet. Okay, we also have Philips here. Pretty cool. Ooh, and the light bar itself. Okay. Take this guy out. Cables, okay, cool. Let's take this whole thing apart. There we go. There's nothing else in the box. Throw that there. We got Philips. Yeah, let's put that away, put that away, put that away. We don't need this. Right, so I'm guessing we have like some kind of stand here as well, or perhaps a way to wall mount this thing. Um, how, how do I? <laughs> Aha, this is how you, okay. So we have one stand. Oh, what? And we have another piece of kit. Okay, that's that's all. That's all we have in there. So we have these two items right here. Okay, let's unbox the actual base unit as this was the extension that we just unboxed. So the base unit is probably, you know, the main one that we need. It, it comes with the actual like power cable and all as this will just plug into the base unit, I think. Uh, I, I don't even know how many you can plug into a base unit. Is it just one extra? Is it like two or three more? We'll find out. So same exact thing here pretty much. Uh, you know, nothing too different. We got this, we got some manuals. We have the base unit itself. Once again, with a power cable. Okay. Um, taking this guy out, nothing else in the box. Looks like we have quite a bit more stuff in here this time. So, all right, so let's open this guy up. What do we have in here? Right, another stand, okay. We have another stand. We have a power brick. Cool. Right, so with the base unit, we get like the UK power socket and we also get like the EU power socket. And of course, if you buy this in the US, you'll get your US version of this instead of the European slash UK version. But yeah, uh, pretty simple stuff. We're just gonna pop this guy onto here. So we have like our power brick. Okay, so this power brick does support three Philips Hue light bars. So we got three sockets here, uh, you know, I'm gonna plug this guy in, I'm gonna plug the base unit in, you know, whichever one is which, I don't even know anymore, but the power brick can support three of them in total, which is good to know. Maybe if I really like them, instead of buying like the LED strip behind the monitor, maybe I'll get a third one as we can support a third one here. And they're all pretty much going in the exact same location behind the monitor. So maybe I'll get a third one, you know, a third extension as 
we can do that. Now, taking a look at these actual stands, how is this going to work? Um, okay, so I've screwed in both of these stands just to show you like how these stands actually work, I guess. So you get this stand, so you can put the light bar up, you know, upwards, just like that. Or you can get the flat stand, I guess, which we have here, and just have the light bar, you know, lying flat on a surface, or even wall mounted if you want to, as this does come with like some 3M tape right here. I'm guessing double-sided 3M tape. Pop this on the back here, peel this off, and uh, you know, just stick this onto a wall if you want to. So mounting these light bars like behind your monitor, behind your TV, onto walls is actually really simple thanks to these stands. Uh, all the tools are included in the box. You get a little like Allen key as well as one screw per light bar. So it's all pretty straightforward. If you want to use the stands, you can do. If you don't want to use the stands, you don't have to. Uh, there is one problem though that I noticed and that is the way this stand um, kind of squishes the cable to the point where I feel like you know, this cable might suffer some damage in the long term, especially if people like over tighten this uh, without even knowing, like that might actually break the cable. As the more you tighten the stand, the more it squishes the cable, like onto the actual like light bar. It's just a really strange design here uh, with this stand, I guess, and the way the cable comes out and the stand squishes it. Uh, hopefully there's no actual like damage and hopefully, you know, everything's fine but a little bit of a weird design choice there with the whole stand and cable thing, but hopefully they're gonna work. So let's plug this guy in and um, sync it all up. So I wonder what's gonna happen if I just plug it in. Will they just immediately turn on? They have, ooh, my. It's really bright. <laughs> it's like a lightsaber, dude. Oh my God. This is, cr um, okay. This is quite a bit brighter than LED strips, um, <laughs> really quite surprising actually how bright these are. I'm gonna undo this guy and put the other stand on there. <laughs> I am genuinely quite surprised how bright these are. <laughs> okay, I don't want to over tighten this in case we, we break the cable, but wow, um, that's quite surprising. <laughs> okay, so I'm glad that they work. Let's hop onto my phone and uh, go on the Philips Hue app and get these guys set up. All right, so I'm on the Philips Hue app. I'm gonna press on here, uh, light setup, and uh, we're gonna detect add a light. There we go. So press search at the bottom here, and will we find some brand new lights? Philips Hue Play. Oh, there we go. When you press on it, you see the, the base unit flash there. Okay, Philips Hue Play 2. That's the second one. All right. Both of them have been detected on Apple HomeKit, as you can see here. So if you press on this one, that will turn on. If you press on that one, that will turn on. If we freely touch on it, we can also adjust the brightness. You will not like, honestly, these are so bright. It blows my mind. Let's change the color. Red. Oh, damn. Right. And let's go on the other one. Let's change it to like a blue. Oh, sir. Blue. Holy crap. That's more of like a purpley blue. Let's get like a nice deep blue. Like, holy crap, dude. This looks crazy. Right, let's go on the color wheel. Whew. This is crazy, dude. Right, so now that we know that they both work with Apple HomeKit, hey Siri, turn on Hue Play. Okay. Oh, that's sick, dude. It works with Siri. Pretty sure it works with Amazon Echo and Google Home as well. I'm gonna go on the Amazon Echo app as well and detect new devices in Smart Home. So I'm gonna press on the plus. Come on, dude. Press and device. Uh, Philips Hue, yes sir. Discover devices. So hopefully in a few moments, both of these will be available to control via my Amazon Echo as well. No new devices found. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, this is meant to work with Amazon Echo, right? <laughs> What's going on? Room setup. Okay, bedroom. Now, oh. there we go. Hue Play. Add both of these guys. That is correct. Okay, that's all good. Let's go back onto entertainment areas. Can we now select Hue Play? We can, yes. Awesome, so this will definitely work with Razer Chroma then, shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that pretty much looks perfect there. Hey Siri, turn off monitor. Done. Right, let's go ahead and actually set both of these guys up. So let's just like pop one down here, pop one down there. <laughs> right, so everything seems to be working as expected. I've launched Razer Synapse now. I'm gonna press on Philips Hue. I don't know what the hell is gonna happen. Okay, Hue Bridge. Let's enable that. The Hue lights. I 
nothing they blinked there. Oh, god damn, right. We got desk lights. We got hue play, subwoofer, hue play one. Okay, so we got two hue plays. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Everything is working. Awesome. Okay, and on Razer Chroma, let's actually adjust both of these lights. Put that one there. The subwoofer is kind of like down there, I guess. Uh, it's off, yeah. It's just, it's kind of off screen almost. Right, so I turned all the lights off. Here is the Philips Hue light show, I guess. It's crazy. Everything is synced up except the soundbar. We kind of need to sort that guy out. And maybe the internal PC LEDs aren't synced up either. Uh, that would be cool if we could sync those up as well. Maybe one day I'll buy the Razer hardware developer kit LED strip and pop it in there. But I think I'll do that like next year. But like for now, this looks absolutely crazy, dude. This is like one hell of a light show right now. This is crazy. Okay, so if we actually take a look like behind the monitors, let me show you what's actually going on here. We got one light bar there. Let me take a look here. We got another light bar here. They are both pretty much just facing towards the wall. And uh, it all looks, you know, pretty good. However, I think one thing that I should do is, you know, try to put them on some kind of like, you know, stand or something just so they're like a little bit higher up as uh, they're currently like, you know, pretty low down. And, uh, you know, this monitor is pretty big. So. so if I can somehow find a way to like elevate them or even like stick them onto something, I'll try to do that just so like the lights are a little bit brighter, I guess. But for now, I am like genuinely pretty happy with the result. The Philips Hue lights are definitely really cool. And these light bars are genuinely like super, super bright. Much brighter than your average like LED strip or anything. So definitely a cool product. There is one more thing I want to find out before ending this video. And that is whether the Hue Play light bars work with Amazon Echo. As I'm trying to discover the devices, but uh, I don't think, yeah, no devices have been found. So, hmm. Right, once again, trying to discover devices. Uh, I feel like the Alexa app is kind of broken. No new devices found. I guess they don't work with Amazon Echo or my app is broken in some way. I don't know what's going on. But apart from that, I think I'm gonna end it there. Clearly I can't get it to work with my Amazon Echo for some strange reason. So with all that said, I guess thank you all for watching. Everything I featured in today's video is going to be linked down below in the description as always. And apart from that everyone, thanks for watching once again and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.